The half-life of EPO is four hours. So you can back it out from there and figure out when you're in trouble. So we've got the 10,000 meter world record was set just recently. It was an old record from uh, Wang Ji from China. It was stood for 23 years. And this is Ethiopia's Almaz Ayana. She says she doesn't dope. She just believes in Jesus. <laughs> well, Jesus must be on some good gear. Because this girl, she just ran a 29.17. 29.17 for 10,000 meter. And she beat Wang's time. And even Wang admit, admitted that Wang took drugs to do the 1993 world record. So, but this is just proof. The Lord is strong. My faith in the Lord is strong. You do not need EPO. You do not need blood doping. You just need strong in faith. Ye who is strong in faith will run ye world records. 29.17. Full natty bra. Definitely. And uh, even Paula Radcliffe, she even said it was it didn't look natural. Paula full natty bra Radcliffe who ran the, what was it? The world record marathon time that's never been beaten. She just did it on the grandma's tea scones and a bit of, uh, probably a bit of hemp seed powder, but Paula Radcliffe smashed the world record, and she reckons it's believable, and uh, so there you go. Just nothing to see here. Carry on, carry on cheering. Believe in the Lord, and you will prosper, ye world records. Uh, what kind of message do you think that your working relationship with Nikkei Ferrari sends out to the general sporting public? Well, David, it's, it's, I'm glad you showed up finally. It's good to see you finally here. Um, good question. Uh, I, I, again, I think that people are not stupid. People will look at the facts. They will say, okay, here's Lance Armstrong. Here's a relationship. Is that questionable? Perhaps. But people are smart. Do they say, has Lance Armstrong ever tested positive? No. Has Lance Armstrong been tested? A lot. Is it fairly easy to prepare for a test? Like, does it dissipate in your system really quickly? The half-life of EPO is four hours. So, you can back it out from there and figure out when you're in trouble. Will he pass every test because he does not take EPO? Yes, he will. Siri, I got a question. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, are you on the same gear as James Ennis? No comment. <laughs> Siri, you fucking vo man, get off the fucking androgens, bro. Anyway, can I call you, bro? Not being sexist, nothing. Anyway, uh, why the fuck are people so gullible in 2016? The fake Nettie Bra stuff. Why are they so fucking gullible? But everyone else calls me Siri. Um, answer the question, man. No pun intended. In my realm, anyone can be anything. So how do you justify your doping then? Because everyone else is doing it? I'm not sure I understand. Look, this is just a private conversation between you and me. No one's going to find out. What are you taking? Are you full natty, bro? Steroids. I'm not sure I understand. The shit you're taking to win so convincingly. You're certainly entitled to that opinion. Um, Lance just blowed your cover, man. Usain Bolt, he ain't natty either. Stop with the shenanigans, please, Siri. That's not nice. Look, just because you want to keep your murder strong for financial gain, and that's your social peer group, and you don't want to put their careers under threat, I understand that. But this is a private conversation between you and me. Who, me? Look, I'm going to terminate this conversation, Siri. It's not going nowhere. The half-life of EPO is four hours. So, you can back it out from there and figure out when you're in trouble. Will he pass every test because he does not take EPO? Yes, he will.